Hey, how's it going team? It's Jason from RealtourVision.com. I hope everyone is having a wonderful wrap up to 2018, getting ready to say hello to a new year. Lots of uh, stuff cooking over here at RTV. I wanted to make a final video for the year and say thank you so much to all of you that have been dedicated to our brand. It's your dedication that helps us keep the pedal down on these updates and just keep a nice steady flow of updates coming out to you every every month or so. If uh, And I look back at our latest changes throughout the year and it's just great to see activity every single month since we started the new change log in, uh, in April. And uh, we have announced new features uh, January through December. Uh, a lot of good stuff here. First of all, I'm so excited to say goodbye to Flash on this video. This has been a long time coming. Those of you that have uh, been with us for a while, you know that uh, our virtual tour, our front end, what the customers see, has been Flash free for uh, quite a long time. There's going to be so much amazing stuff coming in 2019 from streaming to HTTPS, my brand. Uh, you're going to see that first, the HTTPS. Uh, that's going to be going live right when we get back from the new year. So get ready for that. Uh, I will make an announcement when that happens, but uh, you won't have to do a thing. Uh, we've made it real easy on you. It was a longer route to take, but we've made it, uh, we've, we have made it real easy on you so that you'll just start delivering uh, HTTPS tours. You won't have to do anything. And uh, so goodbye to Flash. With that being said, the, uh, the, the la last pieces of Flash that we eradicated from the manager side of the system uh, was the new all-in-one scene editor. So let's check that out. Those of you that create a lot of virtual tours on our system have probably already noticed this and you go into the media manager you can double click on any of your scenes and you go instantly into the editor you'll notice that uh, if you're if you have videos videos show up so you can do you can edit your panoramas and still photos if you want to edit panoramas you bring a pano up and that launches the panorama editor if you want to work on your still photos you pick a still bring it up and you've got options. A lot of new uh, options on the panoramas, by the way. Might want to take note of this. You've got a lot of different offsets. So if your panos are tilted, uh, th this is really big for people that are using one-shot systems, one-shot cameras. You, you can almost never get those perfectly level. And so the Y offset and the Z offsets help you get it to play perfectly level in the system. So a lot of great stuff there. And just all in one editor, you've also got the ability to add hotspots instantaneously right from the uh, the editor and their smart hotspots. So it, it literally walks you through, well, I want to link to a scene. What scene do you want to link to? I want to link to this scene over here. Okay. And uh, set your look position. What do you want to look at when you get to that scene? I want to look at the bed, save your look position, pick your hotspot, and insert. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess up our live tour, but um, real easy to add hotspots. Uh, check that out if you haven't used them. The new hotspot editor is fantastic. It's one step closer to getting us to full-on walkthrough tours, which as many of you that have talked to us or come to our shows and, and listen to what our plans are, that's definitely uh, high on the list for uh, this new year. The next thing is um, the new cloud recorder. Anybody, Any of you that don't use this you really should the cloud recorder is a great way for you to pass some controls to um, to your customers and allow them to get involved in the tour creation process which is which is really a neat thing if you can make that happen um, using a private labeled login uh, we have it on blue lava media let's check this out so customers can actually go down here and then they can log in to login.bluelavamedia.com and uh, you should never use your private label login to work on your tours, but your customers certainly can. And we encourage that. And the cloud recorder is a great example of something that you could set up so that your customers can actually log in. 
Uh, before I get to the cloud recorder, you'll notice some of the stuff's moved around. If you have uh, been building virtual tours, you'll notice that some we have moved some of the navigation around. It's just a lot simpler. Under manage now, you have your media manager, background music and narration themes, backgrounds. Video productions got moved up here. Makes a lot more sense as we build this section out and have Facebook videos, social videos, uh, social video creation, all of that fun stuff that is yet to be created but coming soon. Um, we've got your editor all of your different editors here uh, again the only thing that's not included in the new all-in-one editor is the um, flyer editor and the um, floor plan editor so floor plan editor also got an HTML5 uh, facelift no new features added there but all HTML5 and your um, one thing I did want to show you while I'm thinking about it from the media manager too. if you double click and go into the still photos editor you can now jump right back to your media manager right here. You can just click media manager and you're instantly back, saving you a lot of time. I know I always struggled with that saying, ah, I've got to click over here, then back over there. So um, just making it easier and faster, having everything at the click of a button, whether you're going into, so if you double click on a panorama, I'm not sure if this tour has one. Let me see here. Let me filter it. Filter by panels. It just does. So if you double click a panel, you're going to go right to the panoramas editor. If you double click on a video, you'd go right to the videos editor. So it's all in one editor. Makes it real easy. You can add hotspots to still photos, videos, uh, panoramas, everything. It's pretty cool. And uh, the, pan the hotspot, I love the hotspot editor. I can actually use it now which before it was very complicated. I did not like how that ended up um, on the old system. So it's really nice and easy to use. Check that out. The uh, cloud recorder that I seemingly can't get to here in this video. So let's check it out under background music and narration. The cloud recorder is all HTML5. Real easy. It's going to tell you that it's online and ready to go. And you literally just follow the steps. It looks exactly the same. It's all HTML5. And I got to tell you, I think the sound quality is much nicer than its uh, Flash counterpart. So check it out. You make a recording. Testing one, two, three. This is my recording. You press stop to stop. And then, of course, you can hit your play button there and it'll play it. If you're ready to save it and put it on a tour, you can click save. A little thing will pop up right here. Boom, you can zip on over and you can add that right to your tour. So we don't want to mess with that. We're on we're on live tours here. So I'm going to delete that. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of great things, you guys. Very excited about where we're heading into 2019. It's crazy. RTV's been making virtual tour software since 1999. We've come a long way. It's been a fun ride. We're happy to have all of you uh, loyal customers that are sticking with us and having a lot of fun with us. The tour track uh, team has just released the new tour track guidelines. I am going to attach those to an email for everybody. So if you have not filled this out, please fill that out. There's brand new tour track guidelines that are uh, that are on their way to you. You can access those. You'll be able to access those right through here through the tour track section and we've updated this with some new forms and such so hey let's have a great new year look forward to seeing https as soon as we get back from the new year and uh, right on the heels is full video streaming i wanted to also take this opportunity to thank all of our drone users and heavy video users for your patience when google made those changes recently and it really started messing with flash we we put streaming on the back burner and just decided to we're going to get rid of every flash component so that everything we do is html5 and we accomplish that before the end of the year streaming is right after https everyone have a safe new year's eve and uh, thank you so much we look forward to seeing you again next year